Welcome back. You're watching Daybreak. I'm Victoria Rubadiri beginning our news review this morning. Joining me in studio uh, to my farthest left, Kipruto Kirwa, the deputy party leader of ANC, Honorable Daniel Manzo, the Makweni MP, and Gabriel Muduma, political analyst. Gentlemen, thank you for coming in. Uh, some very depressing headlines. I think let's begin with Daily Nation. Why I sold my little baby boy, 27-year-old woman uh, who was caught in a baby selling syndicate. She traveled all the way from Meru to Nairobi, uh, got into a deal with undercover reporters to sell her child for at first 70,000. She agreed to lower the price to 50,000 shillings. Uh, once they revealed their identities, they called uh, officers from the children's agency. She was then arrested. Police are now investigating uh, whether the baby was indeed hers. Now she says, life is tough. I'm an orphan. I needed the money. What do you make of this? Let me begin with you, uh, Mr. Kirua. Uh, something like this, extremely depressing, you know, state of our society now. Mm -hmm. Well, is it, is it depressing? You know, when uh, we, we talk of corruption in terms of billions, we do not realize that there are people who cannot even get a thousand shillings in a mm. month. And therefore, for some people, they say, okay, let even my child be away from my abject poverty, and I have something else, possibly to take care of myself and to take care of the rest. It is uh, break up in societal uh, norms, mm. traditions, and customs. Because in the past, society had its own safety nets, that somebody who is not able to provide for his or her children would be taken care of by society. But now, we, you, are, you are on your own. Yeah. And therefore, if you cannot take a living out of anything else, you sell the only property that you have. And in this case, unfortunately, it's a baby. No, exactly. And uh, of course, they're raising concerns of this being very rampant, especially at uh, Pumwani Hospital, due to poor documentation of uh, patients. And mm. so you're seeing a lot of this happening in terms of uh, babies being stolen and sold. Honorable Manzo, what's your take on this? Uh, first and foremost, uh, shows a breakdown of uh, society. And uh, you know, it's very important uh, for, children, uh, for children to be loved by their parents and their parents to love children. So first of all, I'll read it as lack of love. And uh, I want to also to encourage Kenyans that it is not all that bad. Uh, if every time Kenyans come together, if you join a, a women group, if you are, there are so many other ways you are going to be assisted and you'll be able to access money, than if you take it alone. So, so you know, we have a of fund there. Every time women come together, uh, and it's also good to join a church. Can you imagine if my mother sold me? <laughs> what will have happened to her today? <laughs> so, so I also, you know, this lady could be selling the future president of Kenya. Mm. And I want to encourage young mothers, please don't do it. The, whatever you are unable to bring up a child, there are adoption societies, there are, there are children homes. You can keep that child there and uh, they, they'll be brought up and one day you may reunite with that particular child. You know, Gabriel, it's, it's a sign of what's happening, the reality of uh, high cost of living. True. Times are tough for people. In this case, it's a woman selling her baby. Other people are doing other things. Right. But um, what do you make of this story? Uh, first of all, like um, Heshmua has said, it's quite unfortunate. But I have two angles on this. The first one is actually, before you even talk about the economic of our times, is the fact that uh, there's a huge uh, smuggling or racketeering, yeah. you know, when it comes to when it comes to these babies, and it, it did not start this week or you know last month, when we've we've been treated to this. You know, remember the case of uh, Dare, was it Archbishop mm -hmm. Gilbert mm -hmm. Dare, and you know the wife and everything. I mean, that's when it came out to the open that you know actually this is a serious money minting racketeering, uh, and um, and apart from that, now you come to the economic you know uh, factor. And I was just asking myself when I was reading this story, what is this woman going through? You know, for you to have gotten to a place where you're just, you know, holding your bundle of joy yeah. and you're willing to give it out. You know, there's somebody who's going through a very serious economic time and when she talks and says, I have two children at home, I cannot be able to take care of them, I'm an orphan and everything, you know, it just gives you where we are as a society. Have we erected structures can act, that can take care of, of, of such a person? And lastly, actually, it's better, I mean, you know, for her to sell a child than to do the, the inhumane thing. I mean, we've seen women, mm -hmm. you know, we, there was it you not know, the other day where a child was buried alive, you yeah. know, a mother just buried a child alive. So I think for her, if that is the, uh, you know, the avenue that she saw, it's not that we are, you know, recommending it, yeah. but uh, I was just, uh, you know, thinking, Vicky, how or where has she reached? 
for her to give away a child. Right. And you know, that would something, that's something that would actually, you know, uh, continue to torment her mentally mm -hmm. you know, throughout the years. Not to disagree with mm -hmm. what Moshimu has said, this person could be a future president or a future Very leader. True. But, you know, I, I, I give her kudos because she did not go the other extreme way where you are actually taking a life away. Yeah. Of course, not justifying exactly. uh, yeah, her exactly. actions, but yes, exactly. you know, of course, yeah. uh, she, she made uh, slightly better decisions.